Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on Thursday here, 26th September. Getting into the quarter end value date today. Supposedly there's big HIA, Homeland Investment Act, flows coming today. So beware of dollar buying from those. Um, otherwise, we're just pretty quiet overnight. Uh, month end flows kicked in yesterday and we pushed Euro down to 42. Now we're back at 58. Uh, we do have all of these options expiring at 110 today. So it does seem unrealistic that this thing just falls out of bed. The big question is, is how big um, will these quarter end flows be today. We're just waiting uh, now for uh, 110.25 and now this trend line comes in at 110.55. These will be our triggers for a uh, possible long euro trade. Dollar Swiss big turnaround bounced right off this trend line here. This will be interesting ever get a touch down here again. Um, really strong day, uh, dollar Swiss. Pulling Euro Swiss up off its knees, traded all the way down to uh, 34. Looks like we've had a turn on the Euro Swiss, um, so let's keep an eye on that. Equities, 53 low. Traded all the way back up to 88. Um, doing sort of what we said they were going to do, just like these other turn days. There's two days of nonsense after the big down day, and then uh, the resumption of the down. So basically, we're just going to trade core short, trying for a better average today and look for the big down day on Friday. Always cognizant of news and tweets when you have an ES position. Uh, we'll just see how this goes. 20, 29.80 now. Last night traded as high as actually 91. How ridiculous is that? Uh, but doing what we asked it to do, so let's see. Let's see if it continues. What else is out there? We don't really have much news today. We've got a uh, third quarter GDP. Uh, employment out of uh, Canada, payroll employment out of Canada. We do have a lot of speakers. We got Bullard, we got Draghi, Enria, Clarida, Kashkari. Uh, lots and lots of speakers today. And then we have no real data of note. We have M3 coming out of Europe, but nobody cares about that anymore. Uh, some inflation data coming out of Sweden. Uh, but basically, it's it's charts and equities. We got to wait for the New Yorkers to come in for that really to kick in. But charts and equities are going to rule rule the day. Um, let's see what else is out there. Euro yen. We keep printing these lows, which are which are kind of nice. Um, if you're looking for downside here, 117.80 uh, could be a little bit of a jump off point, but no real strong feel for this. Um, just treading water now, dollar cat as well, treading water, not doing anything. Finally, let's just have a quick look at uh, fixed income. So our boons finally had a bit of a down day there, traded all the way down to 173.93. First red day in a while. Um, we like this, obviously. Core short this stuff. Today we will uh, be selling up. We will be selling. Um, up near 174.40. Just looking to buy those back down at the figure. 
um, trading on the short side now, now that we have had a red bar, um, looking for a better average. So core, short, boons. You could, you could put the same trade on with US 10s. First down, first down day in a while, and uh, core short tens, kind of the same trade. Boons is our horse, so this is what we're we're sticking with. Really, not a whole lot to sink your teeth into here, especially in the European morning. Looks like it's going to be dead. Uh, we wait for the New Yorkers to come in. We wait for the stock market to open uh, for the real action, and. We're going to have to wait and see uh, what this quarter end flow is going to do. Usually it's pretty punchy. So, you know, the whisper is dollar yen topside uh, for that flow. We'll just have to see. Uh, and we'll either trade what we see, or if we don't understand or don't see, we will just skip it. But just be aware uh, of quarter end flows today. That's all I got. Not a lot to say today. Uh, let you guys get on with it. Go ahead, make some dough out there, and I will see you tomorrow. Ciao.